Hello guys, today I'm reviewing Haunted Holly from Sunstar Enterprises and she she is a pretty good one. I would say she is a pretty good one. Um she she's not like that simple ghoul hanging thing because she has no hanging. And it's a pretty good thing that they did this. You may be kill you may be saying, Oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe now. Oh god, I don't really like that hanging like that, but that's okay. But if you're saying, Oh, I'm gonna unsubscribe now. No. The reason why I'm saying that is because she's made my best choice products. Best choice products. And that's pretty good compared to the other ones. And it's because uh, I feel like that. This is the Iron Curse of the Hand. All I care about is this structure. So I'm going to be reviewing her. She is an okay pop. Out out of I love her. I rate her. One out of ten, I would do probably a seven. Not too bad. Not too bad, animatronic. What we're used to. Um, I like the creepy look with the cracks in the doll's head. It makes it a definitely creepy look. I like the LED red eyes, but I just don't the only thing I don't like about them is that they kinda stick out ish not really put into them the other one sticks out more than that one but um kind of makes it more realistic but the only thing i don't like is that they are just like they flicker when she like says stuff or like when she moves so i don't really like that but that's okay nonetheless um but these arms are okay some some this one's kind of flimsy, so it's not perfect. This one's perfect, actually. And I like how they don't reuse the same exact can, like, yeah. But I like how they used a different texture, same skeleton hands, but they actually put more detail, details in them than the actual thing. So they put more detail stuff, which is awesome. And her hands. Uh, it's not that bad, I guess. It's still the classic Sunstar spider web hair that they always use on the dolls, but yeah, it's okay. I like kind of like it hanging like this, or sometimes in the back. Maybe I'll style it up and give it like a ponytail if I want to. But kind of like it like that. Probably in the haunt, she's just gonna be like this. But she's gonna be in every haunt, basically. Unless, uh, unless she breaks, which that would suck. She might just be ecstatic. Just okay. But she, um, her rumming mechanism, not that bad. Some of the wheels are actually hot glued and hanging, which I don't really like. But she roams super slow, but not so slow. But she roams pretty, pretty easy. Then if you look at here, I like her collar that they added, not too lazy, except that I don't like how it's on the back of like a ponytail. <laughs> it makes sense. And I realized that on the back, I can see the sculpting of this thing. It is actually, it's the actual, sorry, pardon me, it's the actual sculpt of her cabbage patch head. The actual doll, because you see the tan in the back, but it's okay. I don't care, really, as long as she's creepy. Because the hair basically covers it up. But if I want to do a ponytail, it kind of covers it up. Not too bad. If I want to do pigtails, that would look definitely weird. Especially with this kind of hairstyle. But uh, it's not that bad. It's the same hair as um, um, Antique Roaming Doll. Rosie, I think that's her name. I forget. But it's not the same exact hair, but it's a little bit cheaper. Which is okay. I don't mind. About the hair. Well, I, I mean, 
yeah, it's pretty good. It's not a half a head because they actually put a bigger sculpt. They actually put another sculpt of head there instead of just a whole. If the baby face would just be half, it would look weird. So at least it's not a half a head, which is I'd be glad it's not. There's some hairs kind of spiked in her face, which is okay. Just take them off. So on her, on on her um, let's see. Basically on her looks, I would rate it since there's stripes and there's hoof to, so you can't see through it actually. I mean, her, this is the, I think they make new models every year with Sunstar with the older props. This one's, I think the newest model, 2023 model, because it looks a little different and it's not just to connect the poles. It's actual just rising up and because you can't see through the dress anymore. I think they modified that when they gave it to Lauren. Because I think on one of the reviews of this, of this animatronic, they said that, so they got, so they fixed that. I like the bow. I don't get it why this is here. She's the antique Rosie doll. Rosie, I think that's her name. Um, doesn't have that. But I like how they added it here, too. Kind of looks good. Her, they, I mean, it looks profitability, so it looks actually like she's a little bit buff like this. But it's kind of weird how she's so skinny here. It's just a pole. But we can buff it up, you know, maybe get some cool noodles, rip it apart, put some over the thing. I mean, I hate how her dress, the only thing I don't like is that her dress is overflowing a little bit. Makes her a sound breaker, but that's okay. I don't care. But her under here, nothing that crazy, except the wires all over. But that's okay. It's the same exact base as what, but it kind of is a little bit laid off. But that's okay. She may have had, she might have had a bumpy butt. I'm glad that it doesn't have any dents on the face. It's great because some stars, some star props, or clowns, especially at wonky faces when you open it. Because it depends if you're in a rocky area like me. I'm in a rocky area. So. I have a rocky road. So, she's pretty good for her thing. Uh, I don't get it right, but that's fine. It's okay. I like how her arms are postable. That's a point, I guess. Um, her mouth is pretty good. She has a lot of cracks. And I think she's pretty good. I mean, she's an okay prop for some star. I mean, you might make it into like Lowe's one day. Because she's like one of those Lowe's props. Some stars. But not to be right, not to be like mean. The Lowe's lineup last year wasn't that great because Gravedigger was, oh god, dummy. But this one's good. I like how it's a different voice than all of them. Like, Oh, the master, we will tell you. It's not like that one. It's the actual, like, I think it's the oldest, the older Jemmy, the old, old Jemmy, um, ghost girl. Sway by sway, I'm not sure. It's not the same audio as her, as, um, Auntie Corming doll, but that's okay. She's alright. She's going in the haunt this year. I know what spot. It fits perfect, probably. But yeah, I'm trying to see through it. Not too bad. But hope you enjoyed this video and the review of her. Um, you'll see a, you'll see like another thing of with her, or like a teaser of her just roaming around. So it's pretty cool. She's not gonna be featured a lot, but she is a good one. Yeah, I am actually for safety reasons because I don't want her falling on the bins. I'm just gonna keep her, and I might put her back or I might just leave her out. But she's pretty good size to like store on top of shelves or something. So hope you like this video of a review of Haunted Holly, and we'll see you in the next video. Subscribe.